Hello, welcome back to Taming Toxic Plants. Today, I want to talk about death camas and where it grows. So as I scout around here in Wyoming and specifically the Laramie Valley, um, death camas can grow in a variety of different conditions. And I want to show you some of those micro environments where we see it. So in this picture here, you can see there's some bare ground and litter, but also some grasses as well as some shrubs in the background. And this is gonna include black sagebrush as well as rabbit brush species. But there's some very interesting places that I find it. I just wanna show you some more pictures of those. So the first area I'll find it can be areas that are very bare. There's not a lot of vegetation and you can see that in this picture here. Here on the right, we have a seedling coming right out of a, a crack in the soil. And again, these areas are devoid of other vegetation. These are certainly very bare areas where I only will find death camas. The second kind of area are places that are very rocky. Sometimes the rocks are very large, um, as you can see on the right, but sometimes it's more gravelly types of soils. But regardless, the death camas will often grow right out between rocks. So it can occur in very rocky soils. The third are these areas that are dominated by perennial grasses. And you can see here on the right, uh, a young plant coming right through the, the thick thatch and litter layer um, that's dominated by, in this case, you can see a western wheatgrass plant in the front. Um, on the left, we have a death camas coming up through a blue grama patch. So again, a uh, death camas can occur in these grass dominated uh, prairie types of sites and grow right up through those thick layers. And then finally, it can grow under shrubs. In this picture here, um, I have a red circle around a mountain or a, around a death camas growing right up under a mountain mahogany shrub. And then the picture on the left, you can see the litter on the ground. Many of these are mountain mahogany leaves. Um, it also will occur in black sagebrush dominated areas. So it can come up in these shrub dominated sites. So just remember that death camas can be a problem in all livestock species and potentially wildlife if they ingest it. And in the state of Wyoming, every county in the state is suspected to have some species of death camas. Now, the problem in death camas is this zygosine alkaloid. It's a neurotoxic steroidal alkaloid. It can cause problems of the GI system, including salivation, nausea, and vomiting, but also problems of the muscle and skeletal systems, including staggers, tremors, and ataxia, which is a general loss of control. And affected animals can have a weak pulse, labored breathing, and then death can be pretty rapid within hours to days. Now, the toxins decrease over the season, um, except in the bulbs where it remains elevated. And the big problem for animals is often death canvas is the first thing to green up in the spring. And in humans, it can be mistaken for a wild onion uh, when humans are um, foraging around. So I hope that was helpful for you. Here again are, are some primary references you might want to check out. My email is there at the bottom. And again, if a poisoning occurs, make sure you consult a veterinarian or medical professional.